Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. So, what if I ask you to remember a day that really marked an important milestone in your life? I'm sure that you all can think about several of them, like me, but today I'm here to talk to you about a very special day in my life, which is 17 August 2015. This is where, uh, when I applied for a job offer uh, with WP Media to be a supporter for the cash plugin uh, WP Rocket, and I started my, my path into the WordPress world. Let's take, a, let's take a little step back before. I love writing, so I opened my first personal blog around 15 years ago in an Italian platform named Tiscali. And so I've always been an average, uh, an average blogger, a normal blogger, until in 2010 I read that WordPress.com was a very good platform for blogging, and I decided to make this switch. And I've been doing that for several years now. And in a beautiful day of summer 2015, I had a problem, a technical problem with my blog. I was in the, in the back end of my blog, and suddenly I saw this pop-up. It was uh, Andrea, uh, an automatician, who offered, help, uh, who offered her help. She did it. She helped me solve my problem. And so I was happy, but I also left the chat with one question. How could this girl find a job with WordPress? At that time, I, was, I, I had already a work. I was, uh, I was working in customer support, but in a totally different environment. I was living in Barcelona, and I was a customer support for an international assisted reproduction clinic. So I was helping women going through the difficult path of having a baby through assisted reproduction techniques. I have to say this has been a really important experience in my personal and professional life because nobody has the patience of, of a clinic like that can help you develop a really patient communication, be zen and empathic all the time. Something that has been, has been really important for my job in support. And even if this job at the clinic was really fulfilling and satisfying, it was also really psychologically stressful. So after three years, I was ready to come back to my previous love, which is the web. And that same day that I talked with Andrea by, on chat, I decided to, to look for an answer and see how to find a job with WordPress. And I landed on this official um, WordPress job page, where I found WP Media job offer. They were looking for a polyglot supporter for their cash plugin. This is an example of the job offer WP Media usually publishes whenever we, find, we look for new people. As you can see, among the requirements, there are both technical and soft skills. And when I looked at this list, I knew I didn't have all the requirements, especially the more technical ones. I didn't know anything about PHP. I could barely read HTML. And of course, my experience with my personal blog was not sufficient enough to say that I had a great knowledge uh, with WordPress. Even so, I decided to apply and to make a list of my key strengths that could be fit in that job announcement. I was fluent in four languages, so yeah, I was a polyglot. I had writing and communication skills, previous experience in customer service. In fact, until that point, um, WP Rocket support had been given only in English and French. So my entrance in the company could be uh, really useful to extend support also in Italian and Spanish, and also to develop our documentation in the same languages. This doesn't mean that I started working with WP Media having a rollick in good time. Quite the opposite, in fact. I went through an intense talking with my imposter syndrome. My imposter was filling my head with fears and insecurity, telling me that I was going to, um, to do one of the biggest mistakes of my life. This was the question I had in mind all the time. To make you understand how I was, I was feeling in that period, I found this image pretty representative. I think you all know the Big Bang Theory TV series, do you? Well, I was exactly feeling like Penny, surrounded by a group of 
super friendly and smart friends, but more intelligent. I thought they were more intelligent than me, so I was feeling really frustrated for that. They were all eating WordPress for breakfast while I was still trying to learn how to install a self-hosted website. And the most frightening thing was to realize that I didn't have any experience on the backend approach. And that's when my uh, training that I call Learning WordPress from scratch, scratch began. It took me several months. It, it involved different people in the team, and I could summarize it in three steps. The first one is the reading and studying phase. I had a lot of material to read and study, all WP Rockets documentation. I took classes on Code Academy, uh, read material on WP 101, a lot of things. But the risk of this step is to get stuck into it. So I had to take a deep breath and go to step number two. I had to start practicing what I had been studying so far, so also doing what I was going to be paid for, so answer customers' questions about the plugin. Of course, my main fear here, is, here was of that of being exposed with all my inexperience. But I had to take this risk and also of being mistaken and learn from it. And in any case, I realized that I wasn't an, under any judgment for being inexperienced. So I could really dive into this step number three, asking questions wherever they were. This has been the more difficult part for me, I have to confess, because also working remotely doesn't put it easy. I had a lot of questions, and I was afraid that my teammates were hating me for interrupting their work on Slack all the time with my questions. And also my imposter was saying to me, oh, these questions are too basic. But luckily, my teammates were really supportive and helped me to uh, solve all my doubts give me video calls, one-to-one -one lessons, and really answering all the basic questions I had. I also discovered with great surprise that my inexperience could be an asset. For example, every time we had a technical blog post to be published, I could read it and say, OK, maybe I don't understand this, or also maybe some beginner customer don't understand what we are saying. So it was a really good surprise also to know that my experience can be an asset. So what I learned from this, from this training is that my imposter didn't have any uh, right to tell me, to stop me and tell me that I'm not good enough. And the tool I used the most to shut up, the, to shut up my imposter was my list of key strengths, the same that motivated me to apply to the job. Along with that, I also had a lot of numbers to see how my performance was, was going. Because the ticket platform uh, we use, Alp Scout, gives you also a lot of numbers to see how many tickets you sold. For example, I went from resolving about 70 tickets per month, and this number increased a lot as long as I gained experience and more security with my job. And since WP Rocket customers can also rate our replies, I put here the first great rating I received a few days before starting my job at WP Media. This is very important, very special to me because of the, the comment the customer left here, as you can see. She was a Spanish customer, and I helped her in her mother tongue. So not only I helped her with a ticket, but also spoke her same language. And this confirmed me that my, this fluency in her mother tongue was a really good asset also for, for the job I was doing. So let me confess it. My name is Alice, and I am a WordPress newbie. If in this room there are other people feeling like me, I would like to tell you that you, we don't have to be afraid, because the WordPress world is really big, and there is space uh, for us and our keen strength as diverse as they may be. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you.